you know, because at the end of the day, it's nothing that I can do about it, you know what I'm saying? But I just, I, I don't wish, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. <laughs> like, I went through all of this shit and paid all of this money, and so she offered me, so when I told her, when I told her, you know, when after she uncovered my breast or whatever, and I, you know, my reaction to it, she didn't say sorry, like there was no remorse, like nothing, she didn't even care. They offered me out of $9,000 that I paid, they offered me $2,000 back and a non-disclosure agreement. She wanted me to sign a non-disclosure agreement stating that I won't sue her, I won't sue her, and I won't post about it on social media. So I told her, no, you can keep your money. I'm not, I, that's not enough. Like, it's going to cost me thousands and thousands of dollars. It's going to cost me thousands of dollars to fix this. Like, y'all, like, 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 look at this. Like, how am I, I'm a dancer. Like, this lady just ruined my life. Like, how am I supposed to work with my breasts looking like this? Hello? Yes. How you doing? Okay. Just coming in here to see if you got anything left before they get you unhooked. I'm gonna just pause this right quick, right? Because I this this video is a little bit long and I don't wanna lose any of my thoughts. So I I've been on her TikTok and uh just like a lot of people, men men as well, she's got the whole body dysmorphia thing going on, maybe, you know, based off of the, some past photos that she and she wanted to change some things. And because of the way this world is now, a lot of women feel that they can feel better about themselves or go into a certain line of work by saving up some bread, you know, and uh, investing in a procedure like this. And to my understanding, this is her second procedure um, because the first one went well. She's figured that she'd go with the second one to add more, which is always more. It's always more. You feel like you have to be in competition, so on and so forth. The crazy part is you spent nine thousand dollars to go to DR to get this done right and i'm not saying your case a lot of times you don't own a lot of these girls don't own any property they don't have life insurance they they don't have life insurance they don't have a retirement fund set up they don't have a lot of things in place any type of assets but they are able to come up with this money to basically feel better about themselves or put them in a position where they can clap those cheeks you know in in a, in a club for a limited time only and hope that make the best out of it and it's just crazy like these women are losing their limbs these women are um departing from uh was it uh septus or whatever you want to call it um it's it's just like if you know your your life is at stake for a lot of this stuff that's going on, you know, it's just like, and I'm pretty sure every everyone is not guaranteed to be a success at the end of the day. Your body may not just react to certain things. It's not guaranteed. And I'm pretty sure you signed some disclosures and all that. And she tried to, you say she tried to bribe you for 2000 but I'm pretty sure they tried to fix it instead of just kicking you to the curb. And they sent you on your way, and that was that. But it's it's just like you 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 ladies are doing too much instead of just just being content with who you are and doing what you can through physical fitness and nutrition. But you're just trying to uphold an image, which is for a very small time of your life. You know, because you guys are acting like you're gonna pass away at 38, 39. No. You ladies are living longer than, than guys are. And all this stuff is just, eh. But let's get back to it. Yeah, I still got some in there. Yeah, probably a few more minutes. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm in pain, but I'm okay. In pain? You look a little shaky. Are you yeah. feeling a little shaky? Mm -hmm. oh. My iron is low, so I'm gotcha. really, really cold. You a little tired, too? Yeah, it's been a long week, a long day. I'm sure. Well, I'll tell you what, let me go grab an extra blanket for you okay. if you're cold. We got one right out on our cot here. Okay, thank you. Yep. Um, um, 
but yeah, so, but it's okay, so I'm not going to let this tear me down, because at the end of the day, I'm still alive, you know, people go over there and get surgeries, and they don't come back alive, and have all different type of things wrong with them, so I'm just grateful that I was able to come back to my family. And y'all know that, and y'all still do it. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. In one piece, and the rest of it, you know, it, it, it'll take time to fix it, but at least I can fix it, you know, so. Yeah, cover you up here. Okay. Just so you're not cold. Thank you. Yep. Um, the doctor's name is um, Yili. She's in Dominican Republic. Yili. Um, her name is Dr. Yili DeSantos. Shout out to Dr. Geely. Republica Dominicana. Ladies, I mean, fathers, we can do our best to try and, you know, encourage our daughters and try to make them feel beautiful, things like that. Some I've heard guys in the red pill space say we need to tell our daughters the truth if they're not. <laughs> If they're not attractive, they're not attractive, which is the you know craziest thing ever. We we have to instill in confidence in both our boys and girls. And what happens with these women that do this and end up being maimed and you know disfigured and botched and things like that is they feel like they have to compete with something, this social media thing, which I've talked about in the past. And you can see which I, I'll, I'll put up the video right here of of her where, you know, how she looks. I, I think this is after her first surgery. This isn't as, after the recent one. But it's just like you're just trying to add on stuff, baby. And the end goal is what? Because all this stuff you have to keep up. Even with just being a regular person, baby, you got to keep it up. You got to keep exercising. You got to keep eating right. Like I'm I'm, I'm returning back to the skinny wisdom right now. But I have to keep that sh up once I get down to where I'm going to get down to. Or that gut, the gut's going to come back. All that. You can't like the same way you pan. You're going to go through pain under the knife just to achieve this so-called look. And it takes its toll on your body because your body keep getting opening up over and over you shoving this stuff in there and zipping it up and so on and so forth. And you're never, a lot of these women that do that, they're never, no matter how many likes you get, no matter how many compliments you get, it's never going to be enough. Trust me that the compliments, the esteem, a woman's esteem is fluid. It's up and down with a woman. And you have to, re and I think you know that you have to realize that, man. So ladies, <laughs> You're in control unless you have some type of physical disability or ailment. You are able to work on. That's the one thing you're able to work on is your physical fitness and your body. Genetics play a part, but still, you can still live a healthy, shapely, toned. I don't want to say lifestyle, but body type. You are able to achieve that. So, ladies, this isn't necessary. Yeah, learn from her. I'm pretty sure she's going to go and get it done with somebody else, you know, at the end of the day. And this is just what happens. But, uh, hey, maybe next time you want to stick with somebody in the States to do it. You know, use your insurance if you can or use uh, whatever, whatever you got to do. Use your care credit. You feel me? So with that being said, man, let me know what you guys think about this story. You know what? What have? Do you know anybody that's had this done? I know a couple, a couple ladies that's that's had it. I knew about shit a handful of women that has had it done. But let me know what you guys think. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit me up on Cali and Linktree to book that one on one. Subscribe to my backup channel. The link is in the description. Purchase all of my books and merch. And with that being said, this is wisdom. Peace be upon you all. The mercy and blessings of the Almighty. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace. God, and I don't know I will put a light in the sky for the G's that done turn memory from go. Blessings we send to the ghetto you